So finally, I have Vinicius Machado here, and I've been waiting to get this interview for a while. You guys have seen me on some other red carpets with him, but finally I get to sit down exclusive, and you recognize him from Power, season one, you recognize him from True Detective, and now we're on the set of one of his new movies, Distortion. First of all, I want to say, when I first met you at the Lupus event, I didn't want to be near you, because I remembered your character from Power, and... I think that you're an amazing actor just based on that. What is it that you channel to bring your characters to life? Um, just embracing the stereotype. You know, typically as a Latino actor, um, as a minority uh, actor as we are perceived, you know, we typically get boxed into that stereotype. And a lot of actors have a hard time accepting that to begin with. I embrace it wholeheartedly. So I think that that has served as an advantage for me in a lot of different ways, you know, and being able to emulate and being able to diversify each character from that standpoint is then key, you know, and, and uh, that has worked and I've uh, capitalized on it. So um, I seek to do that um, the more and more, you know, finding new elements and new shades of color that I can add to the next one, so. And being, that, being a minority in the industry, we get stereotyped a lot as far as what roles we can get. What choices do you make as far as the roles that come to you? Yeah, again, I mean, I'm, I'm in that box. <laughs> you know, I mean, um, there's just no easier way of putting it. You know, that's just straightforward truth. Um, so again, I'm embracing that. But finding opportunities like I did with uh, True Detective, you know, to being able to branch out of that and to show that I am diverse and that I can do other things as well. So you're very big into being an advocate in the Latino community as far as the entertainment industry. What triggered that and what opportunities have come from that? Oh, I mean, so many. Um, being appointed as the national spokesman for StopBullyNowFoundation.org um, by using my platform and my image and what I have done with um, the influence of my position in the, in the industry. Um, so I was appointed the national spokesman for Stop Bullying Now Foundation by Low Levine, who's the president of the organization. If there's anybody out there going through bullying, or if you are the bully yourself and you need assistance and you need help, there's 24-7 um, help available to you at Stop Bullying Now Foundation .org, all over the nation. It is free of charge. Um, it's, we are a nonprofit because we really do care. So make sure you go to the website. Help us further the cause of love. Um, nonetheless, um, I seek for ways to be able to contribute back to the cause of humanity. I believe we're all here for each other. Um, and I believe um, that being in the industry, the industry itself allows us certain privileges um, as a byproduct of being in it um, that I feel a lot of times um, people don't have in uh, other facets and um, um, <coughs> uh, different areas of life. Right. Um, so you know, utilizing that to my advantage to be able to contribute back is a huge, huge um, um, thing that I look forward to doing and that I am uh, very passionate about. Sure. So what other projects do you have coming up right now? Uh, so tomorrow I begin a new adventure. Um, I'm gonna be um, screen testing actually um, for um, a movie that is an adaptation to a real life story based on true events um, called If We Left. Um, with Miles Maker and uh, Tijuan Scott. Um, so we're having the first shot at the Rose as leading characters, as leading men in the Rose. So it'll be my first leading uh, position in a, in a feature film. So I start that tomorrow. Um, um, and I'm excited about that. So as a media personality, my job is to troll the people that I do you know, interviews with, or just to stay on top of the media. And it's kind of hard to stay on top of some media about you because you seem so private sometimes on social media. Is that, does that hold validity? Is that is kind of true about you? A little bit, I gotta keep it balanced, you know? <laughs> so um, just try to, you know, um, stay as grounded as I can. So I keep my private life privately as much as I possibly can because I'm so exposed by being in the industry, I wanna be able to reserve myself a little bit and have some sanity at the end of the day. But of course the fans are gonna to wanna to know whether you're single, married, have kids, things of that nature. Of course, yeah, <laughs> and they always ask them. Uh, I'm married with three kids, okay, um, but I appreciate the love. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. Um, yeah, so, you know, I'm excited. Uh, we got some music as well coming out. You do music, what, what kind of music do you do? Yeah, I rap, so. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> you rap? What kind, of, what kind of rap is it? Yeah. Um, 
it's in the vein of Pitbull. Uh, we've actually just ended a collaboration with a very known artist um, who is also a, a celebrity. Uh, we collaborated on uh, their hit single and it's supposed to be coming out uh, very soon. Uh, it's also going to be contributing towards the cause of stop bullying. Um, and then um, I'm heading to Chicago at the end of this month, as a matter of fact, uh, to be able to finish my own single, which will be my first single, uh, which should be coming out at the end of this year as well. So I'm working on that. So how do you balance having these different facets in the industry? A lot of people want to do different things. They all have multiple talents that they want to be on top of and kind of break through. How does it balance out for you? You mean as far as like my, uh, like how do I execute it? Oh, yeah. Being an actor, being in music, trying to get everything done that you've ever dreamed. Oh, I have a great team behind me, you know, I really do. Um, and I'm very grateful for all of them because they all serve a certain purpose and I've been able now to concrete a strategic plan with each and every single one of them, delegating certain responsibilities and um, making sure that I'm covered from all facets and all different angles. Um, so I think that's very important. Um, as you progress, to have people behind you and also have people who have the same vision that you have mm -hmm. to be able to prepare you forward. Because you know nowadays, um, being one dimensional is really cliche. Uh, it's really, uh, um, you gotta be like, you know, a triple threat or quadruple threat. And yeah. so the more that you can act, because it used to be that the talent alone was substantial, but now it's all about the image. And the image comes in different fashions. And so the more you can add to that image by having different things to tackle on and to target, uh, the more the value. And you know, as the quote says, the bankability, you know, it's all about price tagging. So the more you can add that to yourself, it's just understanding the market because it's changed a lot, you know? Yes. So um, it's just uh, adapting to it, you know, not fighting it again from the stereotype uh, perspective, just embrace it. So what does the future hold for you? Anything that you want to do that you haven't done yet or things you're, you're aspiring to work on? Yeah, uh, I'm gonna continue to produce. Um, I'm actually very excited to be able to tackle on something new that I'm working on. Um, I'm not gonna share right now, <laughs> unfortunately. So we're gonna get the exclusive later then. You're gonna definitely get the exclusive. Um, but it, you know what, For I am Gary Thomas. I'm gonna give it to y'all, okay? <laughs> so I'm collaborating with my boy Josh Williams who also works with me on Power. We're collaborating on a feature film. It's a horror film. It's been in the works for a while and I'm super excited to be able to be getting to the end of green lighting it okay. now. So uh, that's what we're working on. And uh, hopefully hopefully uh, we'll be able to solidify that this year still and uh, be able to put some legs to it. So I'm excited to do that because I love producing and being able to open up doors for unknown artists, mm -hmm. you know, people coming up to give them opportunities too that a lot of times I feel like they don't have. So. Facts excited. I'm glad we got the exclusive on that. Make sure everybody can follow you on Instagram and Twitter and your website. Let them know. Yeah, V Machado 82 on all social media. Um, I love you guys. I am GaryThomas.com. Okay, make sure uh, you guys follow him as well. I love you guys. Um, and stay tuned for more. Thank you.